When it comes to bias, as this paper by NASA shows, there's a ton of different kinds of bias. The easiest one to wrap your head around is missing data bias. An app is built, and I often say, as a white guy, mid-40s in Boston, I'm dead center in every data set used to train medical AI in the US, right? So if the question is, is the, is the data representative of me? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, right? But it turns out there's many other people in this country look very different from me, and they've been missing in the data set. Right? So that's an easy conception of bias to conceptualize, hard sometimes to fix, but easy to understand. By contrast, there are many much more subtle and difficult forms of biases that I want to just kind of mention a few here. One is measurement classification bias, where the practitioner's bias is translated into what's in the data set that's being used to train. So women are less likely to receive lipid-lowering medications and procedures in a hospital compared to men, despite being more likely to present with hypertension and heart failure. That measurement bias about what we've measured will get translated into the data set used to train the medical AI. A different example that's easy to miss is called label bias, and Ziad Obermeyer has a great, and now I think fairly well-known paper on this subject, looking at a high-risk care management algorithm. And essentially the idea was can we target the patients who would benefit the most from this kind of high-risk care management and prioritize them? And what they found was at the same level of sickness, it preferred white patients to black patients. Now the reason though is very interesting. Why did the patient, why did the algorithm exhibit a pattern of results that favored white patients over black patients? Turned out what they parameterized it, what they told the algorithm to optimize, they took as a measure of how sick you were, your cost. They took total health expenditure or costs as the predictor of health needs. A priori, that's not a bad way to design one of these things, right? It's a continuous variable, it's very rich, we have lots of this data. But because we know that black patients and white patients have very different cost curves, even at the same level of sickness, what ends up happening is if you focus on cost and optimize for that, you end up in a situation where the white patients are prioritized over the black patients. Trying to figure out all of those kinds of biases that might be in the system is very difficult. Trying to do it continuously over time as the algorithm changes and learns, even more difficult. And trying to do it honestly, extremely difficult. So just to say this is a persistent challenge and one that I think it's, there's no silver bullet for, just the kind of thing that I think you have to start thinking about at the moment you start building, rather than the back end to say, we designed this, huh, is there a problem on race? Is there a problem on gender? Is there a problem on age? It's instead thinking at each step along the way, how are these problems likely to curve in? 